Right. <clears throat> so now here we have a problem. So we're going to solve this problem. I'll try to tell you what's happening here if you're not, uh, if you, if it's not clear, I'll try to explain what is happening here. Okay. So make sure that you know it, you know it down. So now where's my pen now? Um, so now here, this is what is happening. We are given the direction of the current. This is the direction of the current. I'll show you there on the diagram. We are also given the direction of the coil, like this coil. It is actually moving anti-clockwise, okay? Meaning it's moving anti-clockwise, okay? And they want us to determine the pole B, whether pole B, it is north or it is south, okay? This is the problem, guys. So in order for us to solve this problem, we are going to use the right-hand rule. So in order for us to use the right-hand rule, <clears throat> in order for us to use the right-hand rule, this is what we are going to do. Remember, you are provided with two. We need to figure out one, which is the direction of the magnetic field. Now, this is what is happening. They said our current in this coil will move from D to C, meaning we are going to focus on this side. So the current is moving from D to C, meaning it is moving away from you. It's running away from you. It's moving into the page. Okay. So remember, which finger do we use to represent the direction of the current? The middle finger, right? So meaning my middle finger will most check. I'm going to use all of the fingers, just that these fingers, I'm going to fold them. And then I'm going to start talking about the direction of the current, which is moving away. Okay. It's moving into, into the page into the board okay it's moving into because it's moving away from you from d to c now what is also provided to us it is the direction of the coil that this coil it is moving anti-clockwise so remember when the coil is moving anti-clockwise let's talk about this side of uh, dc when the coil is moving anti-clockwise this side of dc will be moving upwards or downwards if it moves upwards it will rotate like this right this side of dc will come up and this side of AB will go down, meaning it will rotate like this, right? If this side of CD it is moving downwards, meaning it will rotate like this, the side of DC will go up downwards, and the side of AB will move upwards, meaning this is clockwise, and this it is anti-anti-clockwise. So they say this coil it is moving anti-clockwise, meaning this side of DC will come up and this one will go downwards. So that means for a fact that this side of DC will come up. Remember, our current is into the board, into the page, and then the direction of the coil will move upwards, meaning we're going to point upwards, because the direction of the coil on this side will move upwards, meaning we point upwards with our thumb, okay? And therefore now, let us unfold. Remember, these are my fingers, right? So now let us unfold, let's unfold the index finger. If we unfold the index finger, we make sure that our index finger X perpendicular to all of these fingers, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, okay? So if we unfold the index, index finger, we find out that now the magnetic field will move from this point to that point, meaning this is from north, this is to south, north, south. So meaning our index finger is pointing to south, from north to south, okay? So that means here we're going to have north, this side, uh, this bar of magnet is going to be north, and this bar or this side of the magnet is going to be south, okay? So that means... They wanted us to determine pole B. So that means pole B will represent your North Pole. That means A will represent your South Pole. That's how we, we determine this problem.